The A-Wing was a design created by a partnership between the famous INCOM and internal Rebel designers. The A-Wing fills the need of a fast interceptor and armed scout ship. It's the newest fighter in the Alliance and it has received mixed comments from pilots. On one hand, its speed is unrivaled in a straight line and its agility can equal even the infamous Imperial TIE Fighters. These advantages come at a cost. Its weapon systems are not particularly powerful and it lacks all but the simplest armour. Its speed and agility is what it relies on for survivability and not all Rebel pilots find that a comforting thought. In the hands of the right pilot, however, the A-Wing is certainly deadly. I have to admit the A-Wing was never one of my favourite Star Wars ships. In part, this was because it was never on screen very much. In Return of the Jedi, its presence is fleeting, and even in toy form, it was never very visible compared to X-Wings and Y-Wings. But more recently, it's made a bit of a comeback. It's featured as the fighter of choice in the TV series Rebels, and it is one of the two main Rebel fighters in the Battlefront game. Bandai have been working through the ships and armoured characters so far with their model kit line. I was able to pick this up at a fair price, so I grabbed it. Upon opening the box, I was surprised to find more sprues than I thought was going to be in there. Now don't misunderstand me, this is not an elaborate kit, and due to a crazy deadline, I built this in two and a half days. It's not very involved. So is that bad? Well, it all depends what you're looking for, and that's Bandai kits overall. Bandai kits are certainly not pretentious. They do not go for part counts or complexity of build. They look for the easiest or most logical way to build the kit, and they go for that. This helps the beginning modeler immensely. They don't have to mask off complex areas for painting, they don't have to overcome the disappointment of an early model not remotely coming close to their expectation. They start here and go from there, learning new techniques as they go and improving. They can tackle harder builds along the way, but Bandai are a great place to start. For the experienced modeler who loves Star Wars, well, you've got one group of kits that are easy. There are plenty of tricky ones out there that you can cut your teeth on. The detail is nice. It's not awe-inspiring, but it is very nice. Shows off the fighter well, goes together in such a way that a bunch of paint schemes could be done, here though I feel one complaint can be made. There is only one paint job shown, the red one, which is the one I ended up going with, but it would have been very cool to have had a couple of different paint callouts and decals. Hera flies one in Rebels. How about decals for that as well, rather than a release of the A-Wing again with a different paint callout? The build itself was very easy, and the only time I had some difficulty was when I was not following the instructions well. They were, however, overall easy to follow, which is always nice. The kit comes already pre-coloured, so you can just build it if you want. It also comes with both decals and stickers. And this causes some anger by serious modellers, and I don't understand it at all, as decals are included. The stickers are there for kids and part of the Japanese market. But as the decal option is also included, it seems to me to invalidate any need for anger. One other option is the canopy, of which there are two in the box. One has the traditional modelling option of masking it. The other has a groove where a piece can get clipped on. This can be painted separate and then connected to the canopy. I took that option and it worked really well. I decided on a weathered and worn A-Wing and did a lot of paint chipping. The chipping took the longest time of the entire build. I am happy with how it built up and how it looks. It was a lot of fun and considering the time frame I had, it was a hassle-free experience. I want to do another one in a different paint scheme. If you like A-Wings, have a kid who wants to try out modelling, then this is a great kit to start on.